Hey guys, this is Gossip and Reactions Mystic. We know Grant Cardone has a big mouth. Sometimes he will let you know how he feels about a certain thing. To tell you the truth, I'm not a big fan of his. After he said, if a man make less than a hundred thousand, uh, a few thousands dollar a year, you're not a man. You can't take care of your family. I did not like his approach on that. But at the same time, the man knows what he's talking about. He's good with real estate and. When he said that, I said, man, I'm going to have to read this, okay? He said, if you are an idiot, go listen to Dave. <laughs> Gwen Cardone says, you will need to ignore Dave Ramsey's in order to get rich. He believes Americans suffer from saving too much. Now, I'm going to read the whole thing, and at the end, I'm going to give you my take, and I might do a shot on it, you know, in a conclusion, how I feel about the whole thing. Personal finance expert Dave Ramsey is known for advocating a con conservative approach, emphasizing the importance of getting out of debt. But according to real estate mogul Grant Cardone, using leverage is necessary if you want to move to the next level. For those that want to get wealthy, at some point you are going to leave Dave's advice and you are going to start watching what wealthy people do. Cardon said in a recent interview with DJ Vlad. Hmm. According to Cardon, Ramsey's advice only applies to individuals who are prone to overusing credit. They borrow money for Gucci belts and try to pretend to be somebody they are not, he explained, and I agree with him. But Cardon is not one of them visa mastercard american express have never earned one penny of my money cardon said so yeah i am not talking to that group of people if you are an idiot go listen to dave <laughs> this man is crazy does american have a credit card debt problem i will say yes cardon does not think that overspending with credit card is a widespread problem must Americans suffer from saving money too much? Must Americans suffer because they are too conservative and they don't take enough risk, he said. Nevertheless, considering the increasing levels of credit card debt in the U.S., Ramsey's guidance may still hold weight. According to the latest data from the New York Fed credit card balances surge, $48 billion in quarter three of 2023 to $1.08 mm, 1 a new all-time high. Carrying credit card debt can be costly. Online marketplace Leaning Tree says the average credit card interest rate in America constant, uh, currently sits at 24.46%. And I know what you're talking about. To be sure, you can use credit card without paying the exorbitant interest rate charges. I use credit cards. I just don't pay the interest because I pay them in full every 30 days, said Cardone. He also recognized Wemsey's contribution to people's financial health. I think Dave's great for most people that just want to figure out how to get out of debt. He's done a great job. Cardone remarked, but I am not going to take Dave's advice to build a real estate portfolio because if you want to build a $4 billion real estate portfolio, you are going to have to use debt. Building a real estate empire. Cardone knows a thing or two about real estate. His private equity firm, Cardone Capital Bust, a multi-family portfolio of assets under management value at over $4 billion. So the guys know something. In such ventures, debt can be a useful tool. While it's true that too much debt can be a bad thing, it can be one of the most powerful tools in a real estate investor's arsenal, Cardone wrote in a blog post. He explained that there is good debt and bad debt. Bad debt includes things that do not put money in your pocket, such as credit cards and car payments. Good debt, on the other hand, are investments that eventually help you build wealth. Real estate is the best example of good debt because 
it has the potential to generate both capital appreciation and cash flow cardon noted these days there are multiple ways to tap into real estate you can take on debt to directly purchase rental properties or you can buy shares of publicly traded real estate investment trust reits you can also explore crowdfunding platforms that allow you to own a stake in private or eits or percentage of physical real estate properties like apartments commercials building and even plots of land again guys you guys know grand cardon he is arrogant but you have to give him credit there was a certain things dave ramsey said if you say save too much money you are not investing that's a problem the bank using your money to make money of you and not even giving you the right percentage back so if you want to get more information about this quote go to yahoo news yahoo finance you will see what Gwen Cardone saying is he right for saying not all the advice Gwen, uh Dave Ramsey giving is actually good for you there was good and bad credit you would have to decide how much you have in each credit card and try to pay it all every month then it'll be working on your advantage subscribe and let me know how you feel bye